we shall continue with our previous lecture display using modal dialog this is the part second of that lecture uh, our objective is to display the data from the server for a particular animal in a pop-up dialog we have already written all of the javascript and uh, the link button also are ready now we are to go to the server side call before I go there I would like to discuss a concept which you have been doing so many times and you must already be aware of it this is consider an action method and uh, also consider that I have a partial view called x dot CSHTML and this has a model let us say T on similar lines we have a normal view called y dot CSHTML and this also has at the rate model t if I return from this action method a view suppose this view will return this one this is case 1 case 2 if I return partial view so that it returns this much this one and also let us assume for discuss discussion sake that everything is same and same here the question is that if I return view pass the same data to this and return uh, to this and return partial view and pass the same data to this so that the same data acts on the same HTML here and the same HTML here what is the difference between the results what will go to the browser ultimately you're probably aware of it but let me clarify it once again if you return view then what happens is that the content inside this after evaluation this goes and mixes with the layout file and then it comes back to the client server uh, client browser this means that what you get in this particular case is the entire HTML which could be like this not doc type HTML title tag body tag the whole story but when it comes to partial view then the calculation of this page the resulting HTML is directly returned to the caller without merging with any layout so if you want to return just the just to the point HTML without including the whole of the page then you have to go for partial view and not the view in our current example we are showing a dialog and dialog is sending already sending an AJAX request to home by details by whatever ID and uh, since we are adding AJAX to the code that we did previously there happens to be a method called detail action result that is returning view
so if in our current case we pop up the dialog then you do see the whole of the animal and the whole story why why will it happen although the entire html is going from here this is being set as the inner html of the dialog the browser ignores certain things like not doc type and all and presents the information based on what it can interpret out of what we have sent but this approach has serious limitations problems because if your view layout contains some javascript objects which have already been sent and now your ajax call is sending getting them again one file could be included twice so this one even if it appears to work should not be resorted to our objective is to send to the point html without any additions to it like the doc type and etc etc with this in mind let us examine our current situation this is what we have this passes to the details and coming to the home controller this is already there because in our previous project this was added now if we run it things will still look to work but that should not be done so this will come up immediately now if i click on details it does present the animal but i can't show you the view source but it is actually getting the whole of the doc type and everything into this pop up also this is what we don't want so what we should do is we should instead create a partial view and return partial view from here instead let us proceed here coming to our home add add partial page we'll call it partial page underscore details if we look at our details from the previous project this was the second page uh oh it has disappeared it is this one i can do is control a control c and control paste this is what i have added to my partial page the detailed data that is this one which we'll query from our database and add the information from the description file the work that has already been done for us this detail object is coming to your partial view and i'll remove the title because it's not required and this is just the to the point html that will be rendered now i can come to my controller and write here return partial view let me check up what are the arguments view name and model so i have to put the view name first it is partial page underscore details partial page underscore details mvc will automatically search it i just need to give its name so when this cdd will reach this partial page it will just display the name of the animal then the picture followed by the raw html read from the data uh, from the file system now if we run it this will be the correct behavior
click on this and the picture appears this is the correct behavior so this with this we can close of this one and let me summarize what we have done is we created a different lecture out of this to only push through the concept that returning partial view is different from returning view and we we created a partial view the whole data that was obtained from the database regarding the animal as well as reading the description from the file system was passed to the partial view and HTML was put into this. This partial view was added to the home controller, home page, uh, home folder and it was returned as partial view here so that just the required HTML was sent to the client side. We'll close it right now. Thanks.